When you're making a DVD in EDIUS, you stick markers on the timeline and the markers become chapter points. Now we've put this little button here on the interface to say add in markers. So I click on that and it sticks in a marker. Click on that, it's another marker. Click on that, it's another marker. Those are now going to become the chapters when I make the DVD. If I go to this sequence marker tab up here, you'll notice that they're already in there. And if I type something in the comments, so let's just double click on that one and have a look at it. Oh, that's uh, me. Uh, that's a blue me. And so on. Now these words, these comments, will become the names of the chapters when I make the DVD. So if I pop into the burn to disk, choose a menu, and you can see that my chapters here have actually got my comments on. Now, there's probably nothing new about that, but I don't click on that, then pop up here, then put the words in. I will use this command, edit sequence marker. If you choose that, it puts a marker in, brings you up with a box, and then you can type in the comments straight away. And in fact, what I do is that one, it's called edit sequence marker, I actually sign it a keyboard shortcut. So it's, it's uh, something to do with markers. There we are, edit marker, not assigned yet. I'm going to assign that to shift and V. That's already assigned to something else. Yeah, okay, it isn't now. That means I can very quickly put my chapter points in. Just a quick shift V, give it some words, bang, chapter done. Another thing I like to do, if I'm just doing a movie, even with no menus, I still like to put chapters in every so often. On the remote control for your DVD player, you've got fast forward and rewind, which are really tedious, and then you've got next and forward buttons. If I put in chapter markers every so often, like every five minutes, then the next and forward work, even if those aren't linked up to menus. So I like to put in chapter markers every five minutes. Now, there's not an easy way of doing that inside of EDIUS, but I do this. First of all, I'm going to need a bigger timeline. So for a start, I've got some clips on there. I've got a bunch of other clips here, and I want to put all those clips onto the timeline. Every single clip in that bin I want to take on the timeline. I'm just going to grab the bin, drag it, and shove it on the timeline. Now I want to put in markers every so often. So I could come along. I want them every five minutes. So I'm going to type 50000 marker, 10000 marker, 15000 marker. Now there's nothing fast about that do an hour you've got to go through and you've got to put on 12 different markers and there's no quick way of doing it you've just got to type the numbers in and stick the markers on but once you've done that there's a very quick way of doing it next time very simple in the marker window up here one of the options you've got is exporting the marker list this button here so having stuck marker points in every five minutes I'm going to just click on that and I'm going to save it as a list of markers. Next time I want to do it, I'm just going to go to another sequence, click on the import marker button, find my five minute setting, bang, instantly got markers every five minutes. So having done it once, I can reuse it again and again and again, and I don't have to type in markers every five minutes. Suppose I'm looking at this edit here and I actually want to do a trim where I change the video but not the audio. You know, if you come to grab hold of it here and you start trimming, it's always going to do both together. They're linked together. And I'm surprised how many people don't know this, which is why it's one of my Eddie secrets. If I want to just do the audio and not the video or the other way around, I'm going to hold down on the Alt key, click on the thing I want to do, and then I can trim the audio and not the video. Or the other way around, hold on the Alt key, click on the join there, and then I can trim the video and not the audio. Very simple little thing, but a lot of people don't seem to be aware of it. New inside of EDIUS 6 is this button up here. Now, this button will basically do the same job. If I click on that and turn it off, now I can select the video or the audio and do what I feel like to either of them. Unselect it, next time I come back, it selects both. Notice at no point am I right clicking and unlinking or if the clips are split up so that the video is at the top and the audio is at the bottom ungrouping. Don't do that. Just don't unlink or ungroup. 
They're linked or grouped for a reason. The sound and the video belong together. If you unlink or ungroup them, you run the risk of moving the sound out of position in relation to the video. So it looks like a badly made Japanese martial arts movie. So use Alt or use that. Very simple little shortcut. Seems like an awful lot of people don't know about it. Another little shortcut that a lot of people don't seem to know about, and that's copying clips. I'm going to put in a title. There we are. I've got my title on the timeline there. I like that title. I'd like to have another one right next to it. How do I do that? Well, I want to copy it, don't I? Now you might select it, choose copy, move along, paste. That's done a copy of it. It's done a copy up here. Why has it done that? Well, because the copy goes on whichever track is selected. So let's undo that, select the title track, and paste again, a little paste. That works, nothing at all wrong with that. If you remember the keyboard shortcuts, it's Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Again, nothing wrong with that, but I like this one. Grab hold of the clip, start dragging it. As I start dragging it, you'll notice there that it starts to produce a little shadow or a highlight. Now, as soon as you get the shadow, Hold down on the control key. You notice my cursor there has now got a plus next to it. Then let go. It's made a copy. So this is a title. It would work on a video clip. Do a copy of a video clip. Grab hold of the clip. Start dragging. Wait till you get the shadow. Then hold down on control. Then let go. Very nice way of making a copy of a clip. As far as the title goes, you've still got to remember that this title here if I open it up and make a change to it, it will change both of them because that is a copy of that title. So if you actually want to change the second one, what you do is you open it up, change the words, and instead of just closing it down, you go File, Save As, Give It A Name, and now it's got new words. But apart from that, grab hold, shadow, control, great way of doing a copy. Another nice new thing inside of Eddie is 6 that you're not possibly aware of. And that's an easy way of replacing a clip on the timeline. I've got this clip here of Ringo, one of my staff. It's got a few effects on it. Yeah, I like it, but actually I want to have a picture of me instead. How am I going to change it? Well, come up to the source here, right click, and then drag it, and then stick it over the top of the Ringo clip. So that's grabbing hold of it with the right mouse button and dragging. Then when I get to the clip, let go, and you notice I've got various things that I can do. I can insert and overwrite it, just like I would normally, and then I've got replace. But there's replace and replace parts. So if I do a straight replace, that's just going to stick me in there. It's going to start at wherever that end point was, and it'll finish at however long that clip is. This clip is 19 seconds. So what it's done is it's gone from that point 19 seconds onwards, and that's what it's replaced it with. But the other thing that it's got there is really, really nice. Right click, drop, replace parts. Now instead of replacing the whole thing, I'm just going to replace the clip. And if I do that, you'll notice what happens is it puts me in instead of Ringo, but I still keep my pencil sketch and my emboss and whatever other filters that I've applied to it. You might find sometimes when you right click and drag and try and replace, it doesn't work. And there'll be reasons for that. For example, maybe the clip you're trying to put in is actually shorter than the clip on the timeline, so it can't replace it. Maybe the clip is actually split up in different ways, so you can't replace it. So sometimes it doesn't work, but most of the time that does work. It's a really nice, cool feature, which is in Edius 6.